My name is Olga Slansky, and I live in Kenilworth, New Jersey. My name is Michelle Bisiachi, and I am from Hoboken, New Jersey. Well, my family and I came from Cuba. It's just my parents, my then one-day-old brother. We literally left from the hospital to Miami. Uh, we left for a better life, for this, so that, you know, my children would have a better opportunity, that I would have a better opportunity. Well, what happened was is that I got a... She was placed in a school, a private school. And when she went into the public school system is when we saw that the grades weren't there and she wasn't reading up to par. Uh, when she, once she went into fourth grade, I think it was, mm -hmm. um, we had a child study team member call me and ask me to come in. And it said, well, we're thinking of putting your child in special education. I have this memory, I, never, I will never forget this, going up to my teacher's desk in fourth grade and we had taken a state test um, in the beginning of the year just to see where we were at um, in our reading skills. And she told me I was in pre-kindergarten level in fourth grade. And I just remember my heart breaking. And I understood what that meant. I just knew I was behind. Well, as a parent, I felt like, how did I fail her? Um, should I have read more? Was I not reading the right books? Um, what was I doing wrong? And, but I always had, watched the uh, commercials of course and the model was the commercial was back then you know give us three weeks and we'll show you some kind of improvement and I said three weeks but oh well I'll try it so after discussion a family discussion about these it was a little pricey for us back then but we we thought it was more than worth it the investment um, we just got the product right away I remember getting home after school and the product was there. My mom was like, guess what? You got she didn't even tell me that we were getting hooked on phonics. And suddenly the product was there. And I was actually pretty excited because I've seen the commercials and I was like, well, maybe I could do that, you know? And we started that same day. I never forget going to my mom's room for about an hour and just going over and over the first two lessons because I was so excited. I just wanted to start. Within three weeks of, it takes time. It takes dedication on both parts of parents and the child. And we were called back to an emergency meeting in school. And I thought, oh no, what well, now? You know? And uh, when we went back to the meeting, they all got up and started shaking my hand. And I'm like, what's going on here? And they were like, what are you doing? And I'm like, to whom? And, what? <laughs> and I said, I'm hooked on phonics, works for us. That's exactly <laughs> what I said. <laughs> Everything changed. I mean, I definitely I started getting honor roll in class and I won the science fair. My, even my math skills improved because now I could understand the question they were asking me in class. And it, it, it happened so quick. <laughs> I don't, uh, I was surprised how quick it, the change occurred. And my confidence level, of course, you know, I wanted to volunteer in class. I would raise my hand at that point. Parents have to understand that it also needs their involvement. It's not like this toy you get in the mail and you just throw it at the kid and walk away. You have to sit with them, explain to them how it works. Like I said, after a while, after she got the hang of it, she did it herself. I think it was fun. It was catchy. I loved the music. Um, there were tapes when I started using them. They had tapes. <laughs> and, and, you know, she would push me because sometimes I'm like, I want to go play outside. I want to go swimming. No, you have, you have an hour each day to go over, you know, my booklets, my workbooks, and my tapes, and I did it. <laughs> it may take a little bit of extra time than the normal uh, quota of, let's say, two hours of homework in an evening or whatever. It may take that little extra time, little sacrifice on the weekends to put in a little bit extra time, but it's, it's worth it because in the beginning, if you put in that extra time, the amount of work that you have to do becomes less and less because now it just flows. By seeing that her capabilities had improved academically, again, like she said, it affected, now she knew how to read better, so of course history class was better, the math grades were better, everything was improving overall, and she was blossoming, joining the, the chorus, which I loved because I was a chorus member, so I wanted her to do things like that. So she joined a lot of uh, activities in school, and ever since then, just like, was surrounded with good friends, and if anything, offered them a lot of advice and just just was just so such a different person it was just like so eventful I think it didn't really hit me until believe it or not it really 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 hit me 
when she, I just went for her master's graduation, that I was like, wow, we've come a long way, baby. Like the saying says, you know, <laughs> Hooked on Phonics really did it for her. Um, it's just, I'm so, oh, no, I'm going to cry. <laughs> it's just, I'm so happy that, um, I can't believe it. I just can't believe that I have a master's. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't believe that um, I don't. I, I just I didn't even think I would get a bachelor's. I mean, there were times in college that I wanted to give up, and I didn't. And then I went back for my master's, and mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I received my master's degree in public administration with the concentrate concentration in healthcare administration. My ultimate goal is to become a long-term care administrator, so I'm working towards that right now. But um, I thought I would cry more at graduation. I was just so excited that I mean, I wasn't like this. I, I was so excited, full of joy, and, and walking across that stage and knowing that my parents were there, my husband was there, and um, I just couldn't believe that it was done, and I couldn't believe I did it. And, and then I, I just, there, there's just so much more now that, I, that I'm going to be able to do in my life. And my children, they're just going to have a, a better life, a different life, and they won't have to go through the same things I did, you know. And, you know, now there's no limit. Now I know. Well, if I wanted to apply for, uh, to go for my doctorate, I could go ahead and do it. And I have the support of my family. I've always had the support of my family and my husband. And I know they'll back me up. I've often thought if I didn't get the Hooked on Phonics program, where would Michelle be today? Um, lost in a system where children sometimes are labeled, unfortunately, incorrectly. Um, when I knew that there was a capability there, it was just a matter of finding the right tools to work with. Um, the regret I would have had to this day, if I just didn't invest that initial money, it was worth it a zillion times over. I would do it over and over. and. Um, I, yes, I've thought about it over the years many times. Every time I see a commercial, I would just randomly call and tell them, thank you, because you have no idea <laughs> what a difference you made. And they're like, okay, <laughs> thanks for calling. <laughs> and sometimes I would be sitting in, in, in my class, in my master's, you know, one of my courses, and I'm like, wow, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking a master's course, I can't believe it. I mean, and, and I always go back, it's weird, I always go back to Hooked on Phonics. I just can't believe that it could change someone's life so much, like the you know mine. So it's incredible how just learning how to. I mean, of course, you know it's so important to know how to read, but something, a program so small, something so small could change my life. It, it changed everything. I mean, I'm just a different person. I, I mean, I don't even. I can't even picture myself going the other route. Yeah, we don't want to think about that. <laughs> I'm so proud. Like this is the reason why my grandparents came to America. You know, for for this for this moment right here, you know, and it just makes me so proud that I can make them proud, you know. And then my kids, you know, <laughs> they're gonna get their doctorates and they're gonna do great. They're gonna be doctors and lawyers, and that's the reason why they came here to to escape that political hostile environment they were in, um, just the situation in general they were in, and that's why people. Or, you know, they come to this country for that dream. It is the American dream. It's the American dream for your grandkids to go to school and get their masters and, and have these awesome careers and have a big house. And that's, that's just a dream, you know. And I just wanted to add that because... And she's the first great I'm the first one to graduate. <laughs> of my, of my, on my father's side to graduate college. I'm the first one in, in our media <laughs> family to graduate uh, to have my bachelor's and to receive my master's and hopefully the first to receive my doctorate within the next couple of years. If I were to give a grade to Hooked on Phonics, it would be an A++++++. <laughs> the first things out of my mouth as soon as I hear any child is having any kind of problems in school in any of the subjects. I'm like, get Hooked on Phonics now. You're wasting the time. Start now.